Hello everybody, I'm going to be reading chapter 2 from Death Watch by Steve Parker today. This will also be the final chapter I'm reading from Death Watch. If you've liked the prologue chapter 1 and chapter 2, I'd recommend buying it. Black seed has been planted, said one hooded figure to another in a clear, toneless voice. They sat across from each other at a table of polished wood, rich and dark, the grain unnaturally symmetrical. No imperial iconography here. It was a simple room, lit by simple oil lamps with simple iron fixings. There were no glasses or dishes on the table, no tapestries or portraits on the walls. No need for such. This place, after all, and everything in it, was mere psychic projection. The figures, too, were projections only. In truth, seated many light years away from each other, brought together by the life-sapping toil of the psychic choirs under their command. Nothing here was real save the words they shared and the wills behind them. Here in this mutual mindscape, no other could intrude without detection. No other could hear their words, for they were spoken in secrecy. And that was well. Fruition? asked the other. Four years for a 10% conversion, given the reported gestation times. Nineteen years absolute if the Magos' projections prove accurate. Monitors are in place, naturally, but if there are timeline problems, you'll have the new assets you need. The watch commander may grudge it, but he will not refuse. The new accord bears your personal seal, as arranged. The death watch knows what it gains. You have other assets in place, of course. Some of my best. I'm positioning others now. Nothing to which you are too attached, I hope. You taught me better than that. A nod acknowledging the compliment. You do me credit, as ever. May it always be so. If Project Black Seed bears fruit, your most fervent hope may be that much closer to reality. Or it may not. In either case, your continued support, mutually beneficial, my old friend, as I've assured you before. Even so, I would affirm my commitment once more if you would hear it. A raised hand. Your loyalty is not in doubt. We both know the sacrifices that must be made. Let the opposition believe you work against me. Small wounds I gladly bear for the greater prize. You have done well in laying fool's tracks. They follow where we send them. They shall not discover their error until it is too late. By then, we will have taken them apart from the inside, and our benefactor will rise to power unopposed. You mentioned new players. Middle rankers. Nothing that need concern you yet. They play the long game, as we do, hoping to establish their own candidate. Others who share our outlook are already on hand to check them. Focus on your own immediate objectives. If there is anything you would ask before we part minds... Is she well? Always the same question, worded exactly the same way. His one true weakness, his sister. She sleeps peacefully, as always, my friend. Envy her that. And may the Imperium to which you restore her be a better place for both of you. Black Seed will bear fruit. But only if White Phoenix is at the centre. Any other, and we gain nothing. The Psychers were adamant. Along that path alone lies the weapon we need. White Phoenix will be ordered to the relevant location when the time is right. Everything else will depend on successful extraction. I am sure the Death Watch will not disappoint. Let us hope not. The visions were less clear on that count. In any case, I shall await your report. We're not speak again until this is over. Vigilance, my friend. In nomine imperator. Vigilance. And may his glorious light guide us all. A very short chapter there, I realise. But, as I said at the beginning, if you did enjoy what you heard so far, I'd recommend picking the book up. From this point on, it really takes off as this was very much almost three chapters of prologue and build-up. Enjoy.